<coughs> Hi folks, this is Jason. Hope you're okay today. Uh, just making a quick video. There's a guy on YouTube just made a comment about one of my videos uh, on the Darwinian Inquisition, um, and um, it was on uh, David Berlinski, and. Um, and the guy said, "Oh, you've absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Um, and uh, you know, all you got to do is just present your evidence. Um, and uh, if you do, you it'll you you you'll win uh, a Nobel Prize if you pr prove evolution is true, uh, not true, and and intelligent design is true. And and um, I've got loads and loads of." information uh, which I'm going to be doing in the next couple of weeks of on intelligent design I've got information I've got um, clear evidence I've done research where I've looked at government reports and seen uh, how they've assessed um, the way intelligent design scientists have been treated so even government reports in America uh, can be found to show that there is a, an inquisition going on against uh, intelligent design scientists um, by Darwinian orthodoxy, by the Darwinian orthodox scientists and, and that's government documents that I've read which I'm going to be making videos uh, next week and the week after uh, so the guy who said that you know I've got the documentation mate and we'll be showing the documentation next week um, and the intelligent design people do have good arguments and not only that the creationists do have good arguments uh, and I don't think they're being heard and I don't think they're being heard because I really do believe that the Darwinian Orthodox uh, community is uh, inqu inquis inquisitorial it is inqu it, 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 it's like a high priest Dawkins High priest then it, and um, the, there's this high priestly class of scientists who set themselves up as to be the leaders of everybody in the scientific community, and then everybody in the scientific community is following them, and it's like a herd mentality, and um, any other scientist or any other thinker that says, wait, well, wait a minute, I want to present a new idea or I want to present some different evidence to what the pre prevailing scientific orthodoxy is and, and it's the guillotine you get you get your characters ass assassinated and you get um, you know your, your career destroyed and those people who <coughs> who say I don't know what I'm talking about I tell you what I do know what I'm talking about I have over 20 years of experience of reading the history of ideas alright I have 20 years of experience of reading the history of ideas and so from that rich experience and the person who's written articles and books all right uh, especially idea uh, on history and on thinkers and I can tell you that that when people there is always an issue of power and whenever there is an orthodoxy around wherever it is there's always people who are using that to control people and not allow other people to think and to question their orthodoxy and that is what has happened with evolution it, it's clear as day you know it's as clear as day you know there are scientists that are not creationists that are not ev that are not uh, intelligent design who have doubts about evolution and some of them are not willing to come out and speak openly about it because they're, they're, they're scared of having their careers destroyed. There are some that have expressed their, their views. Alright. So I just feel that you're naive. You're intellectually naive if you think that, that the scientific community is this goody, goody two, two shoes um, community that is self-regulatory -regula it's not it's a it's a prestigious community that 
has holds itself in high regard has power and is using this power to control the prevailing viewpoint on this issue and it's not letting people in who are willing to challenge their perceived wisdom all right and that's been going on for a long long time and it needs to break and basically if you question Darwinian orthodoxy it's the guillotine for you your career will be destroyed it will be the your you know it will be the guillotine your life when I mean guillotine I mean your life career will be destroyed through the media so no scientist or philosopher if they want a career is going to speak out against evolution but fortunately there are a few who put honesty and integrity above their careers like Belensky who are willing to stick the neck out fortunately there are some intellectual heroes out there who are willing to do that all right and uh, as far as I'm concerned Belensky is an intellectual hero and Richard Dawkins is a high priest of Darwinian orthodoxy who is going around doing inquisitions and not only inquisitions guillotine guillotines people's careers who disagree with him and anybody else who disagrees with them they're guillotined their careers are destroyed through the media so uh, for that person who said that to me don't try to demonize me you see this is the problem with you and the atheist out there you demonize anybody who questions you and you say well let's have the evidence but it's not you know for you it's not the evidence it's demonization the evidence is is there there's loads of evidence on this channel for Christianity there's loads of evidence uh, for intelligent design and I'll be presenting stuff in the future um, from where I where I can all right but stop demonizing and deal with the arguments all right take care God bless